How do you go from this to this to this to this to this to this to this and to this? My uh, my Golden Doodle Newton miniature Golden Doodle is the primary source of uh, my f of the yarn, so I brush him every day in both winter both winter and summer. Uh, his fur is a, is important insulation uh, against the heat and the cold. So the thing is to try to keep him not free. Once I've uh, I've harvested all that fur from him, I wash it in cold water and in detergent and then see that's your fur look at that see that that's your, that's your wool that's your fur i know no come on and i'm taking it you know what i'm doing i'm preparing it preparing it to spin getting there okay well i'm preparing it to card actually but you know what i've done i've separated the colors so this is the slightly darker color <laughs> your caramel spots okay if you're not interested that's fine so here is the uh, in the foreground wool that's been washed and dried in the background on the right it's white and on the left it's the darker colors here now it is all fluffed up so that's after I have fluffed it up ready to be carded now here I am carding so I'm using as carders just a couple of cheap uh, dog brushes, uh, but they're working fine. The idea here is to get all of the fibers uh, running in the same direction and then to roll it into, here I am, rolling it into uh, um, what's called a bat. I think they call it a bat. So you, you have, I'll have, at the end of this process, I'll have all his fur in these little bats and there they are on the left hand side I have the darker color on the right the lighter color now I'm going to uh, spin it so I take one bat at a time and I spin it now this is a drop spindle I'm using and uh, you see that I'm trying I'm going to just start it off by uh, connecting the fibers, spinning it around like that. Newton is going to going to is always checking every single thing I do, every moment of the day, and so I think he's going to take over this process eventually. But here I am trying to spin it. Well, I turn you turn this you turn the spindle. You by that in that way you impart a kind of a, a torque uh, that has to go somewhere. And what it's going to do with that spin, that energy of that spin is going to go up the bat, which is the, again, that is the, the, the wool that has been already, the fur that's already been spun into these small, small little um, things called, that I, that we call bats. So you can see here how we do it. Um, see? The spin just go just climbs up. Now you take the second bat, put it on next right next to the to the other one, and as long as you stop with your with my left hand, I'm stopping holding the uh, yarn so that the the spin can't go back down towards the spindle, but has to go up towards my right hand and so you there you go you see and that's how you spin wool now you can spin it as thick or as thin as you want uh, lately I've been spinning it thicker because I like the effect that it's having for this sweater I'm doing uh, I want it to be a thick wool and a, and a loose uh, a loose knit
Now I'll just I'll just let this play for a little longer so that you can get an idea, maybe a better idea of how see you turn spin the spindle and uh, so I'm putting all kinds of energy torque onto that uh, yarn that I've already spun holding it with my other hand to make sure it does it doesn't go too far then and then when I release it up it it uh, spins all of the uh, the fibers together that that was the hardest part there trying to well just trying to get it started on the spindle so what you do is you collect the yarn that you've spun onto the spindle and you just keep then you just keep you just keep the process going one bat at a time uh, spin 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 hold it I hold it with I put on tennis shoes so that um, the rubber holds the spindle in place and that means that the the energy of the spin has only one way to go and that is from up towards the hand that's holding the fluff and then it all gets spun together when you connect the two the two bats together the two pieces that i've already uh, carded they just connect together so you know uh, all the fibers all the fibers just uh, connect connect together so you see i'm pulling in the opposite direction to the way that that the yarn or that the yeah the yarn was was carded and that's keeping well there you go that's it at the end of the process that's my spindle of yarn and now here i am uh so what i want to do now is is i put it around this chair because the chair the chair has uh, the outsides of the chair uh uh if you you see the the way they curve outwards so in that way uh i can spin it around the chair fasten it as you see me fastening it there so i fasten it uh you know, there and now I pull it up by pulling it up a little bit I I make it really taut so that the I let it sit there for a few hours and the uh, the the wool that's already been spun uh, is now now kind of uh, solidified unravel it or just undo it and and roll it into a ball so that's I just start it off and over around a couple of fingers and then walk around the chair until I until I have it roll it into a ball and of course Newton's watching every single thing that happens and eventually I put that's the ball so that's a pretty nice ball that one was um, kind of a nice thick wool this part we don't have to watch too much this is me on some pretty thick needles because i want it to be really loose this sweater uh, a loose knit and supple and comfortable to wear even newton's gotten bored because of course this is just going to repeat stitch after stitch until I've gotten through that ball that I just uh, spun and that leaves me with this so the original behind me and there's the sweater so far getting close to uh, well it's closer to the neckline than it is to the to the bottom this was knit three purl three at the bottom there's the spots over here and um, now I'm trying to sort of just weave a little bit of, by separating the browns and the whites, I'm trying to, uh, to create a uh, more of a textured look. Well, it's got lots of texture because uh, the wool is so uneven, thick and thin. But that's, uh, I kind of like it like that. 
uh, it's my Neanderthal sweater. And of course, that's to go with the hat that we already made. It, and after I washed this hat, it became really, I washed it once, and it became really supple. And it's really nice to wear. That was done on a circular needle. And uh, so there's just the brown along here. So that's supposed to go. This is now the sweater to go with it. If I had a St. Bernard, it'd be, it'd be going a lot faster, but a miniature golden doodle takes time. Probably finish this next year.